Welcome back to another exciting video production with the Florida Powerboat Club now featuring the Key West Offshore Poker Run 2016 edition. And this is episode five of this epic event, which is presented by Mercury Racing and by OffLeaseOnly.com, which will give us a grand prize down in Key West of a brand new Mustang convertible or a $20,000 gift certificate for a purchase from Off Lease Only. Before we kick off today's show, I just want to refer back to the last episode, number four, and we have a correction to make and an apology to make to Danny Merrill from Georgia. It was his first run on the Key West event. He just purchased this new 44 MTI, at least new to him. It's got Ron Potter twin 1100s. Danny was extremely excited to attend. He tried to sign up for Key West a year earlier, but he had boat problems. So it was the first time driving a cat and the first time on the Key West run. So welcome, Danny. And uh, I know you guys had a great time. The boat ran great, and you're all jazzed up and ready for some more fun. So thanks for attending, and sorry about uh, mixing you up with another 44 MTI owned by Brian Johnson in the last episode. Let's continue with today's run. When we left off on our last event, the boats had been making their way through Biscayne Bay down to Key Largo for our famed lunch stop here at Gilbert's in Key Largo. Look at this impressive fleet of high-performance V-bottoms, catamarans, and performance center consoles. Altogether, over 100 boats today on the Thursday run as we pick things up here at Gilbert's. The next leg of the run will be going from Key Largo down to about Marathon, so we've got 60 miles of scenic waterways through the upper Florida Keys. Our video crew here in the parking lot across the waterway getting the helicopter ready and a little bit of help from a passing tourist in his brand new Camaro must be a rental. But we appreciated the help because without that fuel, that helicopter is not going to fly today and that means these highlights of this great event would not be captured for you guys here today. Now, uh, we're filling up an R44, flying with Lewis from Executive Aviation out of Tamiami and the day earlier we flew with Florida Coast to Coast helicopter out of Pompano Beach. Looks like the skies are clear, the sun is out, it's bright and a beautiful day, and it's going to be a great run for this next 60 miles from Key Largo down to Marathon. You can see there that some of the boats are still tied up, a lot of them are still tied up, and sometimes it takes the helicopter getting up in the air to signal everybody that it's time to get going. I know they'd love to stay here at Gilbert's for a little longer, but we do have 110 miles to cover all the way to Key West, and in November the days are short, it's dark at 5.30 p.m., so it's very important to keep the agenda going and keep these boats rolling down through the Florida Keys. It's a great opportunity for some cockpit close-ups just to see how spirited our teams are. Remember, a lot of these people traveled a long way to be here for this mid-November event down in the warm Florida Keys. So they're all jazzed up and getting ready for the next leg. Let's say hi to this Georgia team. This is Josh Kirkland and Brad Hancock. Uh, 42 Huntress called Dirty Duck, uh, but the team is called Rock and Taco. It was uh, Brad Hancock's registration uh, that got them to Key West, but then the 50 Hustler had some problems, so he said, hey, uh, Josh, why don't we bring the cigarette? It worked out just fine. Here's another cigarette, 38-foot cigarette Top Gun, Benny D'Angelo, very happy to be down all the way from Canada. He made a last-minute decision to go on the Key West run, and here he is enjoying the sunny skies and the beautiful warm temperatures in the Florida Keys. 38 Top Gun powered by Mercury Racing 525s. It's a great poker run package, and I know Benny's been enjoying this boat for now a few years. Let's welcome back Eric Laser from Team Midnight Express, one of our featured sponsors for the Key West Poker Run in this truly incredible 43 Midnight Express powered by four 7 Marine 627s. A truly unique boat, one of a kind. Uh, we saw this boat featured at a few boat shows over the years, over the last two years in Miami and in Fort Lauderdale. Let's say hi again to Chris Burke from Fort Lauderdale, second time now for the Key West Poker Run in a 38-foot fountain center console team real fast. And we know it's real fast because it's got that fountain step bottom and he's got four, count them, four Mercury Verado 400s on board and this is one fast ride for sure. Last year, Chris brought the 38 fountain that was once owned by George Bush and had a presidential seal on the side. Say hi to David Sacker and his crew all the way from Chicago, so I know they're happy to be down here in this warm weather, enjoying the day on their 36-foot deep impact called Leo 4. 
These aerial images give us a bird's eye view of just how beautiful it is to cruise through these Upper Keys waterways, going from one bay to the next through these mangrove canals. Joining now, Louis Otero here in the Sea Ray Amphibious, uh, loaded up with GoPros. He's got about four or five cameras mounted on his Sea Ray aircraft today, and I know we're going to be getting some great footage from him. Let's say hi now to Joel Bejan from Quebec. He's got a 52-foot outer limits called Team No Stress Mercury Racing 1350s. I can't help but notice that incredible rooster tail. I think we're going to make a video of boats just with cool rooster tails, and this is certainly going to be one of the front runners, without a doubt. Continuing our scenic trek through the Upper Keys now, we're catching up with the team that came all the way from New Jersey. I believe it's their second year in a row. This is Ron Roman Ricucci from New Jersey. Now they're registered as Team Motley Blue, which is a 36-foot cigarette that is blue in color, but clearly this is not a cigarette and is definitely not blue. So might have been a last-minute change of the boat. This looks more like a 38-foot fountain uh, or a 42. Uh, but either way, they're having fun today and enjoying the ride through the Keys. Nice shot as we close in here on this 42-foot Outer Limits uh, with beautiful colors. This is Brian Manning and his wife Angela from South Carolina. Uh, they've had the Outer Limits now for a couple of years and probably Brian's third or fourth boat since I've known him over the last 10 years or so, but certainly one of the biggest, loudest, and fastest. Uh, they joined us earlier this year on the Emerald Coast Poker Run, and they seem to be really enjoying this sit-down GTX ride now. Uh, you know, the boat certainly fits right in here with the Florida Powerboat Club crowd in the Keys, but where they're from in South Carolina, they're going to stand out like the biggest hot rod in town. Them and probably Sean Lather at the same time, they live near each other. Uh, but these are going to be the two hottest boats in that area, which is around Hilton Head. Now let's say hi to one of our Deep Impact sponsor boats. It's actually one of three that are a part of the Deep Impact uh, Power Boats sponsor program. It's going to be docked right in front of the Conk Republic Seafood Company when they get to Key West. But this is David and Jenny Landsman from Maryland who have been very active voters uh, with the Florida Powerboard Club. Now, Foreplay is hole number two of the new Deep Impact 399 Sport. You can see the new roof line. Uh, you can see the four Mercury Rado, Rado 400s. And what you can't see is the incredible stereo uh, that they've rigged in this boat and the lighting. Uh, so this boat is as spectacular at night sitting at the dock as it is running today here through the Florida Keys. Joined by a visitor there in the background, that's Louis Sotero in his uh, amphibious Sea Ray. He's not going to land right now, but he is closing in and getting some great shots from the wingtips where he's got those GoPro cameras mounted. But looks like the Landsman crew are having a great day today. They have a very, very spirited crew. They always have eight to ten people on board, and they love one thing and one thing only. They love poker runs and having a great time. Now let's say hi to Gary and Nancy Robertson came all the way from Maine with their 43-foot Nortec, and we did catch a quick shot of them, I think about two episodes ago. I'd like to begin by thanking them for being so loyal to this event, 1999, 05, 2014, and 2016 now, four times for them to attend. Special thanks to Nancy, a real trooper, for doing the body painting contest Thursday night. It's Fast and Furious as our chopper crew chases down another team. This one is Scott Shogren, Team Mystic Power Boats, a brand new 42 Mystic powered by triple Mercury Verados. Uh, and really uh, a beautiful boat, to say the least. Uh, one of the newest on the scene, two years now in the development since they first came out. And a lot of great features like tremendous freeboard on this center console. Catching up one more time with Richie and Melissa Barr from Destin, Florida in their 36-foot Eliminator. Team Excessive Moderation. Love that boat name. They're always having fun on these events and, uh, you know, really enjoying this boat, too. Not a lot of these Eliminator 36s in the club, maybe only two or three. Uh, and But this one just keeps on running strong and love that rooster tail. Now a very special welcome uh, and introduction to somebody we haven't seen for a while. This is Johan Mustad who is a true Norwegian member. Not only did he come over from Norway, he also had the boat shipped here too, a 43 Nortec 2004 edition. We rode with him back when he got the boat new. Uh, he took delivery here, did a few poker runs, and then shipped it overseas. But bringing the boat back for a refit and thought he'd get in and have some fun on the Key West run.
absolutely some incredible footage we're getting here today on this beautiful Thursday as we run down through the Florida Keys. Now we're catching up to Matt Garland and Kenny Schomp, uh, two guys from Kentucky who have been having a lot of fun with this 40 skater. Uh, I love this boat. I love the paint job. I remember when it came out oh, two or three years ago. It was at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, if I recall. Uh, but just an awesome looking ride. And they are always here with the spirit to team and a great attitude. These are the kind of people that make poker runs fun. Having a nice ride today, just kind of chilling out. Got her dialed in at about 75, 80. Could certainly be going much, much faster, but I think they're just enjoying the day and they realize that there's a lot of critical navigation through these upper keys waterways and they're not out to set any speed records. They're just out to have a great day. These images prove beyond a shadow of doubt that this is probably one of the best days of boating that many of us are going to have for a very long time. Just excellent conditions, beautiful temperatures. As we now catch up with Mike and Angela Goldbaugh in their new skater. That's right, it's a Skater 368 model, pair of Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. Very clean and simple design, black bottom, white top, uh, but a huge cockpit. As you can see, they've got seating for all their friends, and it's their first cat, and they are just loving it. They brought the boat out earlier this summer. We saw them at a few poker runs uh, around Georgia and Kentucky and Tennessee, uh, but now they made it all the way to Key West. They trailered it from the skater factory. They had to go there to do some minor touch-ups and such, but then they hit the road and uh, just rolled all the way from Michigan right into Florida, just in time to get the boat in the water for the Key West run. It's a 2017 model. They still own their Donzi. Hey, is it for sale? I bet you it is. A lot of cat play today here on this Key West run as we join Gino Gargiulo from Florida, his very, very famous 52 MTI called Super Veloce, a pair of Mercury Racing 1550s under the hatches, a boat that is styled after his matching Lamborghini, which we know will be in Key West in the Poker Run Village. Thanks to Gino for joining us, and what a great ride. Another very cool MTI, this one's a 4018 Phantom, Kenny Armstrong from Texas. Phantom, if you look closely, has that Phantom of the Opera graphics. It's also the kind of car Kenny likes to drive. He's got a Rolls Royce at home among his fleet of fine toys. Kenny's a hardworking guy that travels around the world, but every June he's got a big party at his house for the Texas Outlaw Challenge. Yes, it's Kenny's house where that giant pool party happens every year on Friday afternoon. Looks like another catamaran here just out enjoying the day and chilling back because uh, we know this boat could go much, much faster. This is Tony and Belinda Wormington from Missouri. We saw a lot of them in the last episode with this 40 MTI Mercury Racing 1100s. To me, it's the ideal package. I've ridden in this boat uh, with a previous owner and I know it is one fast ride, 150 miles an hour in no time and it'll maintain those speeds comfortably. It's got that front seat, seven seats all together. And you can tell by these speeds that they are just kicking back and enjoying the ride. No, no hurry to get anywhere, just enjoying the day and uh, getting some special time here with the helicopter. Man, you guys really killed it on this event. You got a lot of chopper time. Congratulations. Here's another boat we saw in our last episode. This is Johan Andersen, one of our Swedish members, came all the way across the transatlantic to join us. His boat stays in Cape Coral. It's a 39 Nortec center console with quad Mercury Verado 400s. What a beautiful ride. And I know we saw a lot of this boat in the last episode. This is Josh Navarro from Miami. His 32-foot Doug Wright powered by Mercury Racing 700s. And boy, those 700s really push this boat. It is one fast ride. Now I'd like to say a very special welcome to Kevin and Jenica Eisenbach from Missouri in their 33-foot Baja Outlaw. And this was a very special occasion for them because they had just recently gotten married. And I want to read uh, their bio, their video bio, because they, what they told us is really compelling. They do most of their boating at Lake of the Ozarks, but it's their first time attending the Key West Run. And after watching all of the Florida Powerboat Club videos online, they just got bit by the bug. And they had just gotten married a couple of weeks before the event and they decided to make this poker run their honeymoon trip. So congratulations to the two of you. Thank you for attending with us on the Key West Run and we hope you'll come back next time. Here's a team we all know by now, but uh, let's go ahead and reintroduce Mark and Eileen Fisher in this Nortec 527 called Where's Eileen Now? 
sponsored by OffLeaseOnly.com, powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Look at how big this cockpit is. It's got room for at least 10 people. And we all know that Mark likes driving fast, but he's kind of just chilling out right now, uh, cruising along at about 65, 70. But you could drive all day long at 100 in this boat and just have a great ride. I got a chance to jump on board with them and uh, be the pace boat for a little part of the run today at least. So uh, thanks for the ride, Mark and Eileen, and thanks for being great sponsors. Here's another Nortec. Uh, this one, a 40-foot roadster, Pierre and Megan Brosseau from Canada. They own and operate a marina in Ontario on a beautiful waterway, Georgian Bay. And Jackie and I and the family had a chance to spend some time with them this summer when we took the center console up to Canada. But uh, they're having a lot of fun today. This 1350-powered Roadster is one fast ride. Nice to see it back on the Key West Poker Run. Great vantage point here from the Robinson R44 uh, GoPro. Uh, showing our crew at work, that's Jerry in the front seat shooting stills and David Steele in the back seat shooting video and our pilot, Lewis, at the controls. Joining now with Joe Scro uh, from Outer Limits, one of our featured sponsors for the Key West Poker Run, decided to break out this SV43 that's actually been around for a few years, uh, uh, owned by another member in the club, but uh, Joe bought the boat back and repowered it. I think he put 1500s in the boat, and they are just having a great ride. Uh, to me, it's one of the coolest looking SV43s ever built. Got that complete closed cockpit. It's a full race setup but it's been a poker run boat from day one. Well, you know, when you see one Outer Limits, you're probably gonna see two or three more. Now we're catching up with Nate and Robin Michelle in their 47-foot GTX, another sit-down boat, one that's been in the club a long time, but one that when Nate got his hands on it, he completely did it the way he wanted to do it. It was a, I believe it was yellow and orangey kind of a colored boat at different power, but Nate went through the boat stem to stern, repowered, rewired, repaint, did the upholstery and made this one incredible ride. And I know he's really loving this Outer Limits GTX. We all know that cigarette racing has built a lot of truly unique boats and a lot of one-off rides like this 45 Maximus, and it indeed is the only one like it. Larry Hill from Florida uh, enjoying the ride. He's had it now for about three years, and uh, you can't see it, but he's got all the team in matching shirts. So I think they got an award for that because the shirts match the boat perfectly, and what an incredible looking 45 sig. The all-new 34 Cat from MTI, uh, they're a sponsor of the Key West Run. And this is number two, I believe. They've only built two so far. Derek Wacom got one, and this is the factory demo. Mercury Racing 400Rs, that's the ideal power. They were designed, or this boat was designed for a pair of those, and that's how they're all gonna come. This boat will be on display at the Key West Poker Run Village at the Conk Republic Dock. Here's a money shot, and this was all set up with no direction. These guys dialed it in when the helicopter came. They got side by side, same speed, rooster tails flying. That's Chris Mastronardi on the left in his 50 SV Outer Limits. And on the right, that's Vinny Diorio in his brand new SV 43 Outer Limits. Uh, here's a closer look at Vinny's boat. It's uh, a 43 powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. That's got to make it to be one of the fastest 43s built, I'm sure. And now we swing over to take a closer look at Chris Mastronardi's 50 SV, another beautiful Outer Limits, also with Mercury Racing 1350s. Chris has been involved with the club for many years. He's from Canada, and coincidentally, the only other SV50 that was in the club was owned by another Canadian, Mark Stoddard. Let's welcome now Nathan Wise from Maryland. It's 38 found. He's riding today with his crew. It's our first time on the Key West Poker Run. And if you're starting to notice that there's a lot of fountains on this event, indeed there are. Altogether, 19 fountains are registered for the event, and that's a pretty incredible number when you think that this, these boats haven't been manufactured for several years. But plenty of them on the runs. Hope you guys are having a good day. Our day just continues to be beautiful now as we catch up with Jeff Layton from Alabama, 42-foot Fountain Lightning, big power, 
Mercury Racing 1075s for a total of 2,150 horsepower, making this 42 one of the fastest production fountains ever built. Another 42 Lightning, one that we've seen quite a bit on these runs. This is Kyle Wees from Oklahoma. 42 Lightning Splitting Tens, powered by Mercury Racing 700s. I hope I got that right, Kyle. For some reason, it's not listed in your bio. But along comes uh, Jeff Layton in the background there. Now we've got these two 42s running together, and there they are putting up what I consider to be a great show with the rooster tails flying side by side, picking up the speed as they cross the bay waters here in the Middle Keys. Back up here in the cockpit, as you can see how much fun these guys are having as they chase you guys down and get the money shots and this beautiful video for all of the highlights. Uh, now we're catching up with Sean and Mary Harrington from Massachusetts in Waterwitch. It's a 37-foot Outer Limits stiletto, one of the first Outer Limits models ever to come out from the OL factory in Rhode Island. Uh, this is actually a 1998 hull, but look at how clean and beautiful the lines are. Obviously, this boat's been redone and it is kept well. Let's say hi now to Brian and Karen Connolly, all the way from New Hampshire, the 477 Nortec. This one, no agenda, is powered by triple Mercury diesels. That's the new 4.2 liter V8 diesel. Um, it is really a great engine platform, 370 horsepower each, three of them all together. The same engine that's in the Audi A8. Let's welcome back now Cass Schubert all the way from Texas in his 38-foot cigarette team Liquid Prozac, uh, powered by Mercury Racing 525s. And indeed, a very spirited team on board uh, today. Uh, like to see the ladies having a good time and uh, working on their tan because the sun is out. This is a great day to get rid of those bikini lines. Let's welcome first-timers Tim and Jamie Manning from Texas, 42-foot Cigarette Tiger. Uh, they just got the boat a couple of months before the poker run, so it's brand new to them. Uh, they trailered the boat all the way from Texas to do the Key West run for their first time. They said that they really loved the power boating community, all the great people they meet, and they loved being at Key West, and they promised to be back next year. Great to have you guys. I'm glad you had fun. Let's say hi to Sean and Kristen Lather in this incredible 43 Nortec Cat called Team Danger Zone, a boat that we've seen a lot of over the years, but looks like Sean has really grabbed this bull by the horns and got it running great and looking great. Love the paintwork and the extra details he's added to the boat. Running big Cobra Power 1200s, that's 2400 horsepower, and he's got those number six drives just pushing that water out, making an amazing rooster tail behind the boat. If anybody watched the Heritage Classic PGA Tour from Hilton Head, South Carolina, that was Sean in the background whipping up a rooster tail and putting on a show for national TV. I'd like to welcome another international team. This is Yuka Murto from Finland, 43-foot Donzi. And yes, indeed, they brought the boat from Finland. They actually had it shipped over on a freighter uh, thanks to our club member George Takula, who introduced them to Florida Powerboat Club. So this is their first time on the Key West Poker Run, and you can see from this very spirited team that they are having a great time today as they cruise down through these beautiful Florida Keys waterways. Now we're catching up with a pair of Nortec cats. Uh, on the right here is the 50-foot Nortec turbine. Uh, Team Norway. That's Eskel Hansen, who's been on this event a number of years, and he's joined by Tron Scow, co-owner of Nortec High Performance, uh, as they power the throttles up and throw the rooster tail. Now they see the helicopter. It's time for some cat play. This orange-silver 36 Super Cat is powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. This is Oystein Tenold. He's been on this event many times, came all the way from Norway to join us for the weekend. Of course, there were a lot of these 36 Super Cats built. Uh, more recently, the 40 Roadster became a popular cat model for Nortec uh, owners, but this 36 was powered by 1350s. It was one of the only ones that had a pair of 1350s put in, and it is probably one of the fastest 36 Super Cats out there.
Back here now with the 5000 Supercat turbine power and the Nortec chopper flying high above in exact color matched paint. Uh, that's a military style helicopter. I know that Tron Scow is a part owner and I know he has pilot's license. He likes to fly it. But with the seven mile bridge in the backdrop, I would vote this shot to be the ultimate money shot for the Key West Poker Run with this 50 Supercat throwing a monster rooster tail out the back and the helicopter in hot pursuit. I actually posted an image similar to this one on my Instagram account, uh, which I just started uh, around the time of the Key West run. It was one of the most viewed video clips on my Instagram account, and this is what people love to see. Another cool ride, another boat that came all the way from Norway. This is Andre Bakkegaard, Norwegian boat builder in this new 44 Predator uh, that he just finished uh, recently. It's the first time this boat's seen a Florida waterways. He attended last year in a 35 Predator, an open boat, uh, but he went back to the drawing boards and built this 447, he calls it, powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. He's also a sponsor of the event, so we want to welcome Andre and thank him for his continued support and for coming back two years in a row to join us for the Key West Poker Run. One more time with the Landsman crew on Team 4 play, the 39-foot Deep Impact Center console powered by Quad Mercury Verado 400s. And I think that as we close in, um, you know, for a tighter shot of the cockpit, you can start counting people. I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think 13 or 14 people, which is a real testament to why these center consoles are becoming so popular for poker runs. because. You really don't have to leave anybody back at home or at the dock. You can bring all your friends and you've got plenty of seating and plenty of comfortable ride space to get everybody on board. Arriving now at our next checkpoint in Marathon, of course, the now landmark Ferro Blanco Lighthouse, uh, and that's the Lighthouse Grill in the background. What you can't see is the Hyatt Place Hotel that's in the front of the property and of course the Courtyard Marriott next door, which is why this is such a great venue for a poker run. And of course, we're only making a stop over here for fuel uh, and lunch as well on the Thursday run. It is the alternate lunch spot. If you don't go to Gilbert's, you can have lunch at the Lighthouse Grill. Uh, but it's uh, geographically situated in a perfect location because inside the basin here, VP Race Fuels has their tanker uh, providing everybody with 93, 96, uh, 100, and of course, C16 race fuel. So for these uh, big power boats, uh, like this 42 Fountain that's got big monster motors, or these Mercury Racing 1550s in Dave Scotto's 52-foot uh, outer limits, uh, you know, and even the Mercury Verados, the 400Rs, they like to have 93 octane as well. So it's good to have the fuel that we need uh, to power these big machines, and that's why the fuel stop at Ferro Blanco gives us the best of both worlds because, of course, their fuel dock uh, has regular octane fuel uh, and rec fuel, and then the fuel truck's going to provide all the higher octane juice that we all need for these high-performance machines. You can see that the day is just continuing to be marvelous. Uh, the light winds, the blue skies. Uh, we've got about 50 miles to go now as we head from Ferro Blanco down for the final leg, which will be offshore. Now we're saying hi to Rhea Key. That's the number one Deep Impact 399 Sport, also with Quad Mercury Verados. His lovely gal Sasha on board and all her friends. And these guys had a great time. And once again, uh, a testament to having a center console where you can have 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 people bring all your friends and really just have a great time. Doing their poker card checkpoint here now on the Yacht Mia. Sponsored by Nextera Energy Power Marketing, and your host is Mark Palanchi, an FPC member. Time for a close-up as we do the card exchange. There's Team Badfish, a 26 Velocity, with a very, very lovely crew member getting her poker card and climbing back in to that 26 Velocity. Congratulations to Cole Brody for uh, making it out to the run. Now, for those of you who are watching and curious about how the cards work, uh, the card they're picking up here today is a bonus card. There are two bonus cards altogether. One is at Grove Harbor Marina, the other here at the Yacht Mia in Marathon. Those two bonus cards can be turned in. In addition to the five cards you get to play the poker handout, you'll have two more for a total of seven cards playing it out for the grand prize, which is a $20,000 gift certificate from Off Lease Only. Thought we would share these clips uh, where these folks are living large on Yacht Mia, sponsored by Nextera Energy and Mark 
Palanchian is the host of this incredible day of yachting on the Florida waterways. They left Miami early this morning and made a full day of it, making their way down to Key West. This is the final ride now from Marathon as they've just completed the last round of poker cards. And they'll enjoy this next 55 mile ride at about 14 knots. So they've got about a three and a half hour ride getting into Key West, which will put them in there just at about sunset into Key West Harbor. Speaking of Key West Harbor, that's where we've got our sights now as I ride with Mark and Eileen Fisher on the 527 Nortec Mercury Racing 1350s. And this is a scenic pass under the seven mile bridge. That's the money shot as we pass from the Bay Waters out to the ocean side where Mark will dial the boat in on a southwest heading. We'll look out for the lobster pots and uh, make our way into the Key West Harbor just in time for happy hour at the Conk Republic Seafood Company. Alternatively, other than passing out through the Seven Mile Bridge, you can continue further south on the Bay Waters and cross out at the Baya Honda Bridge. This is a very landmark location. You can see the broken bridge there. That's the old train bridge, and you've got to put the boat between that section and make their way out into the ocean. You're at Baya Honda here. It's at about mile marker 37, so that'll make it about 38 miles uh, into Key West Harbor. Looks like the Nortec Cat, followed by the Predator and a few others as they make their way out into the ocean waters. Of course, you can see how calm it is in the ocean today, so that's gonna make for a fun ride, a high-speed thrills heading into Key West Harbor. So as we wind up this episode, let's do a quick recap now. This is the completion of the Thursday run. We've already showcased the Wednesday run, now the Thursday, which featured over 100 boats as we get now closer to Key West. As we move forward into our next episode, number six, we'll have highlights from Key West. Of course, that includes the Key West Poker Run Village, which is full of sponsors and incredible displays of high-performance hardware. Of course, there's the in-water show there with all the boats and their beautiful lights and stereos putting on a show in Key West. and thousands of people visiting from Key West coming over to the village to check out all the action. Of course, there's a Florida Powerboat Club fun run and a raft up on Saturday. And on Saturday night, the big Florida Powerboat Club bash at the Conk Republic Seafood Company, where we've got plenty of great prizes to give out. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode with highlights from the Key West Offshore Poker Run 2016 presented by Mercury Racing and OffLeaseOnly.com.